Episode 5, No Time Left. Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Thanks again, Clementine. Oh. Oh. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. Maybe you should stay with the boat. Okay, sure. He's gonna lose the boat, isn't he? Clementine. Holy. Hmm. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy... Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. You're fucking dead! I don't know who you are, but I will kill you! Do you understand? I know you will. She knows you. Oh, I'm coming to get you, boy. Come and get you. Fuck. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. Thank you, Kenny. How's that feeling? Bad. Fine. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have much time. Oh shit, they're coming. Close the door. Close the door. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Probably not good that I'm the smartest fucker around and I'm about to be, I'm about to be dead. It's, it's, not, it's not good. Just some surgical supplies. Hmm. What's that? Ribs spread like a car, Jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Take it. There you go. Hey, right, anything else? Scale. Cooler. Nothing through here. Damn. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Yeah, that would probably make sense. I was gonna say, they don't often just have holes in morgue coolers. Crank it. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Crank it, Lee. Crank it! Uh, uh, oh. 
And bound with count. Fuck. Not now, Lee, not now. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? It, it does work, anything. but it's too late for that. We know there's going to be a lot of blood. There's going to be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> if we take off the arm, and you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. Doesn't work like that. It's been too long. So if, if they cut it off the second I got think? bit. No. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. I'd be happy to have them both. But you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. Lee? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? It doesn't work like that. Again, if I would have chopped that arm off the second I got bit, I would have lived. But far, far too late. The infection spread already. Far too late. Uh, Open. All right, up we go. We're going to have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. Sounds good. Let's go. Nice and quiet, everybody. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Climb, Lee. Climb. Ah! Oh. Oh. Another thing it's easy to do with two arms. Climb a ladder. Oh. What? That was fucking close. Everything yeah. okay up there? Oh, just fucking peachy. Eh. Oh god, what now? Oh God! Lee, Lee! Oh God! Are you alive? Get up! Stop doing that, Lee! I'm alive. You have to pull yourself up. Going for it. Jesus, Lee, come on, quit blocking out of me. Hello. Goodbye. Climb faster, please. No help, indeed. Or 
Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure Hard seems boy. like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Yep. Good. I, uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. It's the bite. Just have to deal with it. You gotta let us know if you start feeling funny, you know? I know. Yep. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As good as I can be. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Yep. Now, let's get our bearings. All right. Let's go with Omid first, I guess. Is there anything else over here first? Anything? No? Okay. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. Hmm. Alright. We need something to get across. Ain't going back that way. Aha! It occurs to me that this game is going to be mostly one, uh, one-handed gameplay since you could chop the other arm off. They probably didn't program you use both arms in many things. The bells. Yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? Probably not. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. Yeah, What's that's the a worst good point. that could happen. I get bitten again? <laughs> Doc Emo, so yay. Read that. Yeah, let's go, Lee. Somebody could hold the ladder, though. That'd be great. Like, Hurry. just hold it. Yeah, what she said. I really fucking hate ladders in real life. Oh, God. Go. Go, Lee. Go. So many times I've almost fucking fallen off a ladder and broke my Holy neck. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there. Yep. Duh. Way. Tons of them. Jesus. That was the goal. Now get back here. Uh, right. Right. How pray tell? I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. Oh, this should be good. Far, just a little hop. <laughs> I'd fall straight down. Mummy. Oh. Good, 
goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. He would have at least one broken bone doing that. At least. <laughs> a lot of fucks to give. Come on, please. Oh God, Ben, what'd you do, Ben? God damn it, Ben. What are you doing? Don't get mad. The boat's gone. No shit, it's gone. Relax. Ben, what happened? They were waiting for me in here. Who? Vernon, his whole crew. Was Clementine with them? No. He seemed pissed you guys lost her, and, well, they took it. They're gone. Ben, you are worthless. How's Lee feeling? Don't change the subject. I can't believe you didn't even put up a fight. Jesus, Ben. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is Kenny, not happening. You can kill Ben, Kenny. Kenny I don't care. He's so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean, kill immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. Oh god, Ben, shut up. Shut up, Ben. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to god. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet. So put I'm going to be though, okay? so. I mean, I am bit and I'm feeling sick already. Where the it's... hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Bandits? Hey, chill. Here's some pills. Vernon, chill! Here's our fucking boat! This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't somehow your fault! Kill him, Ben. Uh, kill him, Kenny. I don't give a shit. Left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny! Careful, guys! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead. No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse and I don't know. So give me a fucking break! Damn, Ben. Oh, ben. Um, oh, Ben's got some balls, after all. What oh, do you know? Shit. Here they come. In the house! Granted, doesn't excuse him being an asshole half the game, but still, he's got some balls, at least. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny, move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Ben, kill anything that gets in. You know you're talking to me, right? Ben, just do it. Omi, what is it? Oh, fu what the hell? Front doors. <laughs> Why the fuck is the front door open? Lee, help! Cut their fucking- 
fucking arms off. There's gotta be a knife or something in there. Uh, I'll look. Hurry! Knife drawer. No, up one, you idiot. Up one. Ha! Take their goddamn arms off! Slicey, slicey! That it? Now what? This is a big, sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah. I think so too. Nope. <laughs> Fuck me. Shit. Get upstairs. Go. Well, fuck. Bree? Is that Bree? I think that's Bree. Guys, help me with this. Hey! Why? Multiple times, multiple times. All right, all right. I can do this multiple times. Oop. Everyone, get to the end of the hallway. One more. What do we do now? Die. Slow down. We get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Attic. We can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Not a lot. Three, five, four, two, one. I'll know where to aim. Get ready. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Mercy kill? Nah. Cleave him! You have the cleaver! Get him! Here, um... I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. Thank you, Ben. Well, that could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut yep. Up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Fuck. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I disagree. Stupid jokes can help, especially in Oscar. So, no ideas then. There's got to be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. Fever. And he's down. Fuck. Clem. Hmm. Lee, get up. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel. Where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it. We can't panic. How long you think we have? What? I... 
I don't know. We should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't, and it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. You shoot me. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. Just you shoot me. Hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back. With or without you. Fine. I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate. I will. Ah! You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. We'll find out. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. Who's saying I'm not? I am. Uh, and when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. Amazing it wouldn't help. Feeling in it. Really? Yeah, it's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. Rose got enough evil in it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? I mean, you're gonna have to. The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I kinda I am. Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. There isn't. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Kinda have to. Listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? What do you two think? He's a risk to the group, but... I feel bad for him. Yeah, I feel bad for him too. He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit out of me. He better not do it again. He ruined Kenny's life. Outbursts like that aren't fucking appropriate. You do feel bad for him though, right? Yeah, well, somewhat. Seems like he got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. 
You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. <laughs> can you make some good leeway? It's long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. Terrible. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. wanted to die in Crawford. What's that now? When I had him there in my hand. He wanted me to drop him. He asked me to. Oh, Jesus. What? I'm glad it was you making that call and not me. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who, I should say, was built like a brick shithouse. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. Nope. No, he did not. We did, though. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kitty. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. Sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused all of this. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. Yeah, it's not like whiskey's uh, not gonna. <laughs> it ain't gonna hurt. I don't think she can drink. Wink. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm through. Oh, good job, you. No walkers. Things are looking up. 